It's incredible how quickly time flies. We are entering the second half of 2025. Let's use this opportunity to complete those projects that we have been working on. And if you're working on new projects, here are some new add-ons that could help you speed up your projects. To kick things off, if you are looking to simplify your animation workflow, check out Keyflow. It's a neat add-on that lets you swap out tons of individual keyframes for one simple slider, making it super easy to fine-tune your timing and getting those smooth professional animations. It essentially handles the repetitive parts of merging keyframes into curves, so you can focus more on the creative side of things. Plus, it's non-destructive and even comes with some handy presets, making it great for production animations, motion design, ArcViz, and any type of projects you are doing in Blender. Next up, while it's not strictly an add-on, I have found a fantastic resource for all your cartoon projects. Think advertising, social media campaigns, or any animation gig. We all know how much time goes into making characters, ad rigging and texturing, and the process stretches even longer. If you are creating multiple characters, it can honestly feel impossible for a solo artist or even a small team. That's why artists and studios like 3D are very essential and valuable. They can save you hundreds of hours, their characters are highly detailed, fully rigged and completely customizable which will make your life quite easier you can take a look at their page they have several characters with diverse designs from teachers astronauts casual random people and more if you're working on a project that demands stunning highly detailed flowers you have got to check out this collection from evermotion while there are tons of plants and flower libraries out there most just don't cut it for those crucial close-up shots this collection however is all about high detailed models making it perfect when you need your flowers to look absolutely pristine even when the camera is right up close to the flower if you are aiming for that next level of realism in your render especially if you are in the advertising industry because i know it's that demanding they need to always see that much close detail uh, this is definitely the way to go Next up, for anyone who's ever wrestled with optimizing textures and materials, you have got to check out Atlas Flow. This neat add-on essentially takes color atlasing to a whole new level, letting you do perfect PBR editing all within a single material. What's really cool is how it does this with a super minimum texture footprint. We are talking about just two lightweight 128 by 128 pixel textures. This approach dramatically cuts down on draw calls and simplifies managing your materials. So if you have ever worked on a project but your materials take a lot of time to show up, even when you make a slight change, this is usually a result of the amount of draw calls your computer is making to calculate textures and other shader setups. Because this add-on uses a simple low resolution texture, it makes it a game changer for anything, especially for game assets and sterilized models to making your project more optimized and fast for rendering and production. So instead of having eight images for a single material, you only have one image for several materials. All right, if you're looking to build some serious impactful environments, especially those with a strong almost oppressive vibe, you have to check out Dystopia Blocks, which is a blitterist collection of buildings and structures. This isn't just a simple asset pack, it's a massive collection of urban concrete 3D models and modular assets, perfect for bringing those totalitarian regimes of futuristic dystopia landscapes to life. We are talking bold geometric forms and imposing concrete structures that are ready to go right out of the box, fully textured and optimized. It's a game changer for quickly assembling sprawling atmospheric scenes in Blender and other 3D softwares. Now, I added this one for those in advertising, especially for food and drinks. If you're looking to bring that extra touch of reality to your renders, let's talk about duality. This is a carefully put together collection of around 67 photo scan real objects. What makes it stand out is its incredible authenticity. Every piece is super detailed, meticulously optimized, and comes with high resolution 8K textures. So, if you're aiming to make your scenes truly pop with lifelike elements that fit perfectly in your real world, Duality is just the right tool for you. It has a ton of things, breads, avocados, and any type of fruit or food you might think of. If you have got a project with characters that need top-notch rigging and animation, you absolutely have to check out this library. It's a gold mine packed with ready-to-go rigs for anything from dinosaurs, birds, frogs, monkeys, and lizards to humanoids and even robots. 
seriously it can save you a ton of time but here's the best part this isn't just a collection of rigs it's a comprehensive bundle that comes with animation specifically designed for those rigs think about complete walk cycles run cycles fighting sequences and all the essential movements you need it provides everything you need to hit the ground running and bring your animated characters to life without starting from scratch and if you're looking to add some serious flair and realism to your scenes, lens flares are the perfect final touch, especially for wide shots, bright day renders, or even atmospheric night scenes with headlights and streetlights. It's a bit of a bummer that Blender doesn't have a built-in tool for them, but that's what this add-on does really well. The cool thing about Lens Flare 2 is that it works directly in the viewport, so you don't have to fuss around with the compositor. These flares are super dynamic. They actually react to your scene, disappear realistically when an object passes in front of the light source plus you get a bunch of different flare elements to play with letting you customize and craft the perfect look to match your scene's vibe to round off this list i just wanted to let you guys know that i have just released my blender advanced effects course think of it as a follow-up to my geometry nodes course though this one doesn't lean heavily on geometry nodes we are diving deep because frankly most courses and tutorials just scratch the surface of blender's features with blender advanced effects we are changing that we will explore a ton of previous unexplored areas and different effects and just like my other courses I'll be constantly updating this one with new content to keep you ahead of the curve. Thank you for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.